Kina, rather, Kina, Lamentations 2. How has Adonai covered Eth the daughter of Sion with a cloud in his anger, and cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Yashara'el, and remembered not his footstool in the day of his anger? Adonai has swallowed up Eth all the habitations of Yaakov, and has not pitied. He has thrown down in his wrath the strongholds of the daughter of Yahudah. He has brought them down to the ground. He has polluted the kingdom and the princes thereof. He has cut off in his fierce anger all the horn of Yashara'el. He has drawn back his right hand from before the enemy, and he burned against Yaakov like a flaming fire which devours round about. He has bent his bow like an enemy. He stood with his right hand as an adversary and slew all that were pleasant to the eye in the tabernacle of the daughter of Sion. He poured out his fury like fire. Adonai was as an enemy. He has swallowed up Yashara'el. He has swallowed up all her palaces. He has destroyed his strongholds and has increased in the daughter of Yahudah mourning and lamentation. And he has violently taken away his tabernacle, as if it were of a garden. He has destroyed his places of the assembly. Yahuwah has caused the solemn feasts and Shabbathoth to be forgotten in Sion, and has despised in the indignation of his anger the king and the priest. Adonai, has cast off his altar. He has abhorred his sanctuary. He has given up into the hand of the enemy the walls of her palaces. They have made a noise in the house of Yahuwah, as in the day of a solemn feast. Yahuwah has purposed to destroy the wall of the daughter of Sion. He has stretched out a line. He has not withdrawn his hand from destroying. Therefore, he made the rampart and the wall to lament. They languished together. Her gates are sunk into the ground. He has destroyed and broken her bars. Her king and her princes are among the other people. The Torah is no more. Her prophets also find no vision from Yahuwah. The elders of the daughter of Sion sit upon the ground and keep silence. They have cast up dust upon their heads. They have girded themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Yerushalayim hang down their heads to the ground. My eyes do fail with tears. My bowels are troubled. My liver is poured upon the earth for the destruction of the daughter of my people, because the children and the sucklings swoon in the streets of the city. They say to their mothers, Where is grain and wine? When they swooned as the wounded in the streets of the city, when their soul was poured out into their mother's bosom. What thing shall I take to witness for you? What thing shall I liken to you, O daughter of Yerushalayim? What shall I equal to you, that I may comfort you, O virgin daughter of Sion? For your breach is like the sea, rather your breach is great like the sea. Who can heal you? Your prophets have seen vain and foolish things for you, and they have not discovered your iniquity, to turn away your captivity, but have seen for you false burdens and causes of banishment. All that pass by clap their hands at you. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Yerushalayim, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All your enemies have opened their mouth against you. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say, We have swallowed her up. Certainly this is the day that we looked for. We have found. We have seen it. Yahuwah has done that which he had devised. He has fulfilled his word that he had commanded in the days of old. He has thrown down and has not pitied, and he has caused your enemy to rejoice over you. He has set up the horn of your adversaries. 
their heart cried unto Adonai, O wall of the daughter of Sion, let tears run down like a river day and night. Give yourself no rest, let not the apple of your eye cease. Arise, cry out in the night. In the beginning of the watches, pour out your heart like water before the face of, ya of Adonai. Lift up your hands toward him for the life of your young children that faint for hunger in the top of every street. Behold, O Yahweh, and consider to whom you have done this. Shall the women eat their fruit and children of a span long? Shall the priest and the prophet be slain in the sanctuary of Adonai? The young and the old lie on the ground in the streets. My virgins and my young men are fallen by the sword. You have slain them in the day of your anger. You have killed and not pitied. You have called as in a solemn day my terrors round about, so that in the day of Yahweh's anger none escaped nor remained. Those that I have swaddled and brought up has my enemy consumed. 